All right, welcome to part three of my paint pot tutorial. In part three, we're going to be going and creating variables, and we're going to be creating two new buttons, a small dots button and a big dots button. So let's get started. What we're going to do first is add a screen arrangement. So you're going to select screen arrangement and drag the horizontal screen arrangement onto your viewer. And under width here, under properties, you're going to select fill parent, click OK. And then left click and drag your white button onto the horizontal arrangement. Once you've done that, we're going to add in two new buttons. So go to Basic under Palette, and let's drag two new buttons on there. Go ahead and select that first button. We're going to rename it. You're going to name it Button Small. Remember, you don't want to put any spaces. And then under the text, you're going to label it Small Dots. Then go ahead and select the next button. We're going to rename it. This one is going to be named Button Big. No spaces. Click OK. And the text for this one is going to be Big Dots. And there we go. That, those are all the buttons. Um, make sure that your Blocks Editor is open. We're going to open that up. first thing we need to do is we're going to be creating our variables. So you're going to go to the built-in and you're going to select definition and you're going to select where it says defines a global variable. And you're going to click on where it says variable and we're going to name this variable dot size. And then next to that, you're going to left click on the little triangle and select the number. And then click where it says 1, 2, 3. And give it a variable of 2. And then we're going to create the variables for the small and the big dots. So go to built in, go to definition. And we're going to name this one small. We're going to click on the little triangle and click on the 1, 2, 3. And we're going to give it a variable of 2. And then we're going to go back to built in and definition and select our next variable. This one's going to be named big. We're going to click on the triangle here. Oops. And then click on the number. And, and then click on the 1, 2, 3, and we're going to assign a variable of 8. And that's in pixels, if you were wondering. So once we have those, um, now we need to change the radius here. So you can take this old one, throw it in the trash. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to My Blocks and My Definitions and scroll down, and you'll see that these have been added. So we're going to select where it says global dot size and we're going to put that for our radius. So we're editing when the can drawing canvas is touched it's going to draw a circle and for the radius it's going to go to the dot size whatever that is. So our last thing to do is to set up our small button and our big button and then we can test them out. So I'm just going to hit connect to device so that it'll be ready when we're ready to insert uh, or try out our small button and our big button. So we're going to go to my blocks and you'll see button small and you're going to select the very first one. So when the button small is clicked it's going to do a certain thing. So what we want it to do is we're going to go to my blocks in my definitions and we're going to select where it says set global dot size 2 
and then we have to define what that is. So we're going to go back to my blocks and my definitions. And we're going to set it to global and small. So it's telling it to set it to the variable of small, which is 2 pixels. And then the last thing we need to do is set up the big button. So we're going to go to my blocks, my definitions again. And we're going to go to where it says, um, I'm sorry, not my definitions. We're going to go to button big and click on when button big is clicked. It's going to do this. So we'll go to my definitions and we're going to select set global dot size 2 and then we're going to select global and big so that it'll have a variable of 8. So we'll go to my blocks, my definitions and find where it says global and big and connect those. And there we go. So we've set up uh, our dot size, our small and our big variables. We've changed the drawing canvas touch so that um, when it draws a circle the radius will be the variable of dot size. And then we've set up our button, our small button and our big button. So we can save it and we can open up um, this and we can click on red and see it'll draw the red line. Now let's try out our small dots. So if we left click, we should have small dots. If we click our big dots, we'll have big dots. And then we can always wipe them. Oh, and you know what? I don't have my white button set up because I restarted this, but that's all right um, because these work. And we can switch colors and they'll draw different colors like that. And what you can do is we could go here and we could change this to 12. And we can save it. And then we could try it out. So we have a slightly larger size. So I'll change it back, but that just gives you some something to think about when you're doing this. You can always go back, change the variables of these, and then see how it works in the emulator. Alright, thank you for your time. Have a great day.